Hey everybody, alright, we are going to pick up where we left off on The Walking Dead, uh, at least the, uh, the he's an asshole edition of <laughs> The Walking Dead. Uh, Sprite, unfortunately you, you were not there for the first one, I think you were busy or going to work that night, but it will go up on Monday, so there's that, and uh, so I'll try and balance it out so it's like you see the good guy run first, and then like a couple of videos in between, and then uh this particular one that uh, the one that you're here for so uh without further ado since we're kind of on a time crunch i'll go ahead and get started <clears throat> i had my uh, chinese food beforehand <laughs> all right so here we go we were on episode four i'll try to have episode five uh done at least with an i'll try and get something going for that and uh, I'll have that one up by the 31st. Uh, Sprite, when it, uh, maybe do you think on, well, let's see, you're, we got the Twilight Zone thing with Deets, and then we got Terrors of Nowhere. Um, so that's going to be, if there was a little bit more room, I'd say I really do want to get back to uh, Shadowgate, because that one was, uh, if we're a little bit off, so be it. That, that's just the way it is, I guess. All right, so here we go. Let's go ahead and get started. Around every corner. All right. So is the stream working, Sprite? Sprite? Yes. All right. Just checking. <laughs> Previously on The Walking Dead. Yes. I've heard enough out of you, okay, <laughs> Doug? Now, what the fuck's the problem? Ben! No! Just get in. We'll figure out what to do with you. I was trying to protect... Just checking that. All of us. <clears throat> Holy shit. She's stealing the RV! I don't know much about you folks, but I can tell you sure the sun's going to come up tomorrow. The girl keeps going on like this, and that girl ain't going In this universe, Chuck's like, I don't know much about you, but you guys, you guys seem like total assholes. <laughs> Just put it into it, man. I think we should look for your parents. Really? Yeah. We need to know if they're okay, and, well, if they're not, what happened to them? I was the one giving the bandits supplies. What? It's all my fault. We got a job! <laughs> what? No way! You son of a- ah! <laughs> Get over there! I can't wait for you to get to Savannah, Clementine. <laughs> I got your parents right here. Yeah. And you be sure to find me, whether Lee wants you to or not. Now, what I need- Who the fuck? I don't know. But I doubt we're gonna be happy when we find out. All right, here we go. So how many boneheaded decisions do you think I'll get be able to do today? Because <laughs> in this one, we just... Out. In, 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 for like the entire session, just completely fucking with Kenny. <laughs> and uh, I guess it's... Uh, I guess it's fair to say to bring this up. Oh, in Starting in November, when uh, when the Halloween stuff is sorted out, if I have time... I will load up uh, Delta on I have it on the Nintendo Switch, and I will start streaming that. I'll probably restart the game from scratch, mostly because it's been way too long since the previous one, just to kind of get reacquainted with it. Doesn't make sense to load up something from like two or three years ago. <laughs> but uh, hopefully, Nico Desire uh, will be there for that. And if you guys want to, uh, Sprite and company, you guys are welcome to watch uh, me play Delta Rune and. Shit, maybe Undertale too, uh, or Undertale Yellow. <laughs> I heard good stuff about Undertale Yellow. Yeah. Can't I just hold it? Oh, I'm gonna be a real dick. I'm sorry, Clementine. Just for a little while. Um, uh, actually, no, I, I, I don't have the heart. Maybe I can... Not now. I need you to focus. Keep your attention on the street. Okay, sorry. How's O'Neill? His leg's pretty bad. I'm fine. You're not fine. You need to rest. He needs to rest. <laughs> Kenny, how much farther to the riverfront? There should be just a few more blocks up ahead. And there'll be boats there? As sure as hell better be. There'll be boats. Have to be. Have to be. 
It's going to be okay. Kenny knows what he's doing. What the hell? Maybe this city's not so dead after all. Keep moving. No one's ringing that bell. It's automatic. On a timer. What kind of church bell goes off at 20 past the hour? Someone's up there! Are you sure? I don't see anything. I know what I saw. I'm telling you there's someone up in that bell tower. Someone alive! <laughs> I thought you said that thing didn't work. Who the hell is this? Hello? Hello? I said answer me! What the hell was that? It's, it's the Scooby-Dee like Toilet place. guy. Sounded more like a <laughs> <laughs> Gibbity, skibbity. Guys, I feel funny. Guys, I feel like I got a toilet seat around my head. <laughs> God damn it. Run! Follow me! Little too close, don't you think? Ben! No, Ben, help her! <laughs> God damn it! The hell? You got it, Chuck. Move your asses! River Street's right up ahead! That's not all. I'll give me a fucking break! Wait, where the hell's Chuck? <laughs> Shit, he's in trouble. We gotta help him. There's no time. We gotta go, now! I'll be fine. Just go! I'll get the door. You okay? Uh, yeah. You've opened up your wound. You're bleeding. Shit, it's gonna get infected. We gotta get him inside. Clean him up. Kenny, how's that door coming? I'm working on it. I'm working on it. We'll work faster, would you? Won't be long before those things outside figure out where we went. You know they can smell blood. Quit it, the pair of you. Gonna bring more of them down on us. I'll see if I can find a way in. Eggs open time. <laughs> Do you think the dead people saw us come back here? Are they going to find us? Nah. Try not to worry. Even if they saw us, they can't get in here. We did. Why can't they? We're a lot smarter than they are. They're just like dumb animals. They can't open doors. We used to have a pet hamster. One night, he figured out how to open the door to his cage. And when we woke up, He'd eaten half a box of cookies. I don't think this is quite the same, Grim. <laughs> yeah, right. This time we're the cookies. Just stay away from the gate. I'm gonna see about getting us inside the house.
How's he looking? I'm all right. You're not all right. You've reopened your wound, you're losing blood, and God only knows what might have gotten in there. It could be infected, it could be... No offense, but you really need to work on your bedside manner. Try not to worry. It always looks worse than it really is. Except when it's a bite. Yeah, well, it's not a bite. We're gonna get you fixed up. Just get us inside the house, will you? I'm on it. Lee? Yeah? Thanks. No problem. Will we be inside soon? Yeah, not much longer now. I hope so. It's getting cold out here. Looks like something was buried here. Just a doghouse. There we go. Thirsty enough to drink that yet. A shovel is never not useful. What's this? Looks like there's some kind of pet door here. I tried it already. That's locked too. Who the hell ever heard of a locked doggy door? I have. My neighbor had one just like that. It's it's radio controlled. The dog wears a collar with a chip in it, so the door only opens when the dog gets close to it. Well, shit. Every day's a school day. All right, so where's the dog? Well, <laughs> can't imagine it being anywhere else. Hey, be careful. Digging up dead things isn't what it used to be, you know what I mean? Yeah. I hear you. What's buried down there? Nothing. Clem, go over and sit with Krista and Omi, okay? But I want to... Just do what I say, okay? Oof. Oh, God, the smell. Must have belonged to someone. Oh, <laughs> can't get it off. Okay, that is not oh, cool. Jesus. Are you okay? I'm fine, honey. It's just the smell. Are you sure you I said I'm fine, okay? Oof. Guess this used to be his home. Will we be inside soon? Yeah, not much longer now. I hope so. It's getting cold out here. I so like you reassure her. I didn't mean to be mean to her. It was just sort of like, like, yeah, I don't want you to see a dead dog. Ben. Yeah. About what happened back there on the street. I know. I don't know what happened. I just froze up. Hasn't that ever happened to you? Just hear what I'm saying to you. You put that girl in danger again. It won't be walkers you have to worry about. I hear you. Think we can get in through one of these windows? Man, I don't think so. Whoever owned this place had them all barred up. Yeah, looks pretty solid. How do you think Kenny's holding up? I don't know. It's it's like all he can think about is finding a boat. He definitely doesn't want to talk about Katja and Duck, at least not with me. Yeah, well, I figured that's probably for the best. I'm going to go check things out. All right. I wonder, last time I checked out the shed... Oh, he can't indirect the shed. All right, fine. Damn. There goes nothing. Yes! God damn! You see anything in there? No. 
Looks like it's been empty a while. Whatever you're gonna do, do it fast. Okay, let me see if I can reach up in there. Be careful, man. Mm. It's no good. I can't get it. Here, let me try. I think I can... <laughs> Clem, are you okay? Say something! I don't know why that made me laugh. <laughs> it just crawls right in. Good job, Clem. Yeah, way to go. I did good, right? Yes, you did. You did good. You get an energy you bar. This conversation inside. <laughs> My legs starting to hurt like hell. Hmm. Looks okay from here. Everybody in. No, it's okay. I'm good. I feel better already. Just yeah, he up. looks like I can't stop Thanks, thinking. Baby. He looks like male of seven or male of nine, the skibbity toilet face. Fuck. Yeah. That's that's really what this so, episode's gonna boil down to: skibbity toilet jokes. Tell you what, <laughs> it was the last working. time. Yeah. There's someone else on the other end of that thing. You didn't think that might have been worth sharing with the rest of us? I didn't know myself until it just started working out there on the street. So you don't know who that voice was? Who gives a shit about the damn radio? I'm more worried about whoever it was out there ringing that bell and bringing the dead down on top of us. It's like they didn't want us to make it to the river. What makes you think it's not the same person? Whoever was on the radio was close enough to see us in the street, and we didn't see anyone else other than the guy in the bell tower. Because that doesn't make a lick of damn sense. Why would they bring out the dead like that and then try to warn us about it? Damned if I know. Maybe they were just trying to mess with us. Wouldn't be the most screwed up thing I've seen these past few weeks, I can tell you. Whoever it was, seems like they're following us. And I don't like being followed. All the more reason huh? to get on a damn boat where we can't be followed. I'm not going back out there anytime soon. Omid needs to rest. We need to make sure Chuck is okay. Once it's quieted down outside, we'll all head towards the river. See if we can find him. Deal? Suit yourselves, but I'm not gonna wait around too long for someone else to grab up those boats. That's our ticket out of here. Place seems secure, at least. I'll feel better when we know that for sure. We need to check the whole house. <sighs> All right, fine. You and me will take the upstairs. Lee, you've got down here. Make sure you check every door, understand? Okay. Can I help? What if there's another locked door? I think you've been helpful enough for one day, kiddo. Why don't you just see if Kristen and Omid need anything, okay? Okay. All empty. Hope we never get desperate enough for food that this starts looking appetizing. <laughs> I'm not that hungry. Besides, I need to finish checking the downstairs. <laughs> Nothing. Water's off. No power. Oh, it's clean. <laughs> All cleaned out. Yeah. <clears throat> Must 
must have stopped working a while ago. I take the whiskey. I need a drink after all that. Probably not the best idea right now. We need to stay frosty. How's it coming? Looks expensive and heavy. Doubt any looters would be able to haul that thing too far. Hey, guys. How's the house looking? Not done searching the first floor yet, but so far, so good. What do you guys think about this plan at Kinney's? The guy's losing it. Look, Lee, I know he's your friend and all, but you need to be careful. That man is on the edge, and I don't know if I want to be around when he goes over it. Kenny's solid. He's just been through a lot, that's all. I hope you're right. For all our sakes. I mean, this is the Kenny I fought on a moving train, so yeah. How's that couch treating you, Obi? Leg <laughs> I don't like explode any time. Right. Oh, you know he will. <laughs> you know he's going to explode. Finding this house was a hell of a stroke of luck. I like it a lot better when we know for sure it's safe. I'll make sure. You know, I always right wondered why like Skippy Toilet doesn't have legs, yeah, and this is probably around. why. I'd like to believe that. Really, I would. You're wondering why it's successful, or? Sit tight. I'll keep oh, no, no, no. I was like, say... <laughs> or, I said, <laughs> I said, I always wondered why Skibbly Toilets uh, didn't have legs, and I can kind of see why. <laughs> oh. Looking at this. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I get it. <laughs> yes, the head, okay. just a head in the I shitter. Do <laughs> you check all the rooms to make sure? No, but I'll take care of it. Oof. Oh, not exactly my style. A weird picture right there. Yeah. <laughs> it's Bruce Wayne. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> oh, look at all the bat layer. <laughs> Nothing Speaking of here. toilets, there you go. <laughs> Uh. All clear in here. Just one more to check. What happened? It's nothing. Just uh, nothing. Just a mop. Uh, I must have seen him be like we this. We be okay here for a while. <laughs> At least until it quiets down outside. Good. Thanks. Is he okay? Yeah, for now. But I'm really worried his leg might have gotten infected. Don't suppose you turned up any meds while you were poking around? Nah, just dog food. And there's some whiskey in the back. I was just asking Clementine if she knows who the man on her radio is. It's okay, honey. You can tell her. Who is he? What does he want? Back off, Krista. She hasn't done anything wrong. I'm not saying she intended to, but she's just a kid. She doesn't know any better. You never told her not to talk to strangers? I mean, these days more than ever. Clem, honey, who is the man you've been talking to? It's okay, you're not in any trouble. We just need to know. I don't know, but he really seems nice. I think he wants to help us. Help us how, Clementine? What exactly have you told him? I told him that we were looking for my mom and dad and that they were in Savannah. He said he thinks he might know where to look for them. Have you told him anything else about us? Clementine. Ace Fright, I just realized. What else? What? The kid in the painting looks Wee? like that. The kid in the painting looks like that kid from that illustration childhood Wee, trauma book that now. you showed me this What's morning. 
<laughs> oh dang! The the drug monster. <laughs> that that if you guys haven't Kenny seen it yet, look up um, any sprite can share it. Um, it yeah, there's a book called The Kid Who Got Eaten by the down. Drug Monster, and the illustrations are creepy as fuck. Stay here. Holy hell! Yeah, it's like I think I I think I, I think I saw like the full movie on YouTube. Oh god, I don't know if I can get through the full one. That's just it's kinda of depressing and spooky at the same time. Uh, yeah. It it really is. Jenny. <laughs> what? The Florida man. He waits, he watches. Kenny. You okay, man? Jesus, what the hell is that? Oh, my God. Oh, what? <laughs> kind of looks like duck, don't he? It's just a kid. What the hell happened to him? Ain't nothing on him. Guess he must have been hiding out of here. Starved to death. Jesus Christ. I don't know if I can do it, Lee. Not, not again. You stepped up before, Kenny. You did what had to be done. You can do it again now. That little boy needs your help. I know. I just... Oh, God. Here. This'll make it clean and quick. I don't know that I can do it, Lee. I know that you can. You were strong for Duck. You can be strong again now. Do what's right for him. Send him on his way. Maybe this is what I was supposed to do in the other run, but it didn't feel right. <laughs> we should bury him. I'll take care of it. Sarah's back, Ari. Hmm? Oh, hey, Sarah. Sarah's back. Hey, welcome back. Yeah, it was a really powerful moment earlier. Uh, ooh. <laughs> yeah, any, anything you miss, uh, it'll go up on Monday. So there's always that. Oh man.
You come back here, I'll kill you. You understand? I'll kill you! Lee, what's going on? I saw someone standing there by the fence, watching us. A walker? No, too fast. Took off like a bat out of hell when I spotted him. Was it a man or a woman? Didn't get a good enough look. What does it matter? I'm wondering if it's the same guy who's been following us. The guy on the radio. Jimmy? I'm fine. I'm just... I'm fine. What's all the ruckus? Lee saw someone watching us from outside the gate. What? Who? I can't be sure. They ran off before I could get a good look. I don't like this one bit. Not one bit. Me either. Walkers are one thing, but the thought of someone out there actually stalking us. All right, that's it. We've stuck around here long enough. It's time to get back on track. Time to get down to the river and find ourselves a boat. I don't know if Omid's well enough to move yet. Well, he better get ready, because I'm going down to River Street right now to find a boat. And as soon as she's ready to go, we're moving out. I'm with Kenny. The sooner we get the hell out of here, the better. Well, then hell, what are we waiting for? I'll go get my stuff. No. Ben, you'll only slow us down. Lee and I can go scout the river while the rest of you get ready to move out. You stay behind with Krista and Omid. Wait, can't I come? My mom and dad can't be far now. Maybe we can look for them on the way to the river. We can't right now. But you promised we'd go find them when we got here. On the train. You promised. I know I did, Sweet Pea. I haven't forgotten. But Savannah's more dangerous than I thought it would be. We all need to stick together as a group. Okay. Daylight's burning. Gonna go grab my gear, then we'll head out. Come on, Clem. Let's go see if Omid needs anything. So, you're just gonna leave me on the bench here? That's not how it is, Ben. I need you to stay here and keep an eye on Clementine. I can do that. Well, just so we're clear. While I'm gone, anything or anyone tries to get inside this house, you shoot him. Don't even think twice about it. Understand? I got no problem shooting walkers. Did you hear what I said? Anything or anyone? Good. Yeah, making us uh, um experimenting. It's still the Lee's an asshole run, but I'm also like experimenting and picking different options just to kinda compare and contrast to the last one versus this one. Still gonna be a jerk ass though. <laughs> uh Florida man, is there something you want to say to me? Keep your eye out for Chuck. He might be waiting for us around here. Yeah, sure. Son of a bitch. That bastard's fucking with us again. It's another trap. No, listen. That's not the same bell as before. This one's further off. Whatever it is, it's gonna get the dead moving over there. What in the hell is going on? I don't know, but the person ringing that bell might be doing us a favor. Whatever, man. I find whoever's doing that, I'll ring their motherfucking bell for them. Good one. <laughs> hmm. Let's keep moving. Still nothing moving behind us. I think we're... Oh, my God. 
Yeah, good luck with those boats, Kenny. There's gotta be. Make you some flex tape. Uh -huh. Kenny, man, I don't think so. Maybe we need to come up with a new plan. This is the plan, Lee. This is our best and only shot. You said so yourself back at the house. You agreed with me. Yeah, but that was before we... This one might still be salvageable. Kenny, get a grip. This boat is totally fucked. <laughs> oh, yeah? Know a lot about boats, do you? Tell you what, if I ever need an expert opinion on American history, I'll be sure to ask. But how about you leave the nautical shit to me? All right, fine. Fuck you, Kenny. <laughs> I'll check it out. You look further along the waterfront. Maybe there's something at the other end. I don't think we should split up too far. We don't have to. See that telescope? You can see all the way along the waterfront from right here. See what you can find. Okay. Gas siphoned, tires removed, engine parts missing. Looks like this thing has been stripped clean. Must have been trying to back their boat into the water. If only things didn't go as planned. Looks like the whole city has been boarded up for all the good it did. Must have taken weeks to board up all these windows. It's an old cash register. Not much use these days. What the hell are these markings? They're all over the place. Some kind of warning? Don't do something like this. Using walkers like scarecrows. What sick bastard did this? job of making me not want to go any further. Could be military tags, but what do they mean? I love that power walk. <laughs> <laughs> this is a man that is determined to solve the problem. Great. Needs a quarter to work. Bingo. Wait, arrow. Zip, 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 zip. Arrow. He walk. <laughs> he walk. <laughs> hey, Kenny, you want a quarter? No? Okay, it's mine. My quarter. 
I found it. You can't touch it. Fuck you. Fuck. What's up with the boat? It ain't gonna work. Hulls crack beneath the water line. Well, someone stripped out the battery. You can't fix it? Oh. <laughs> what the? He needs what the a, hell is that? He needs flex tape. He needs flex tape. Worse than death. <laughs> Ooh. I was gonna say another thing for November. I'm gonna do is pick up where we left off on uh, my faction, or not my faction, uh, my rise. If you want to watch that sprite one of these days. Yeah. No sign of any boots down there. It's not like you said boots. No sign of boots. Plenty of dots. No boats. No way that one's salvageable. Nothing but water, not a boat to be seen. The Talmadge Memorial Bridge. Can't imagine how many people tried to escape across it when the city started to fall. No way that one's salvageable. Oh, I think uh, Sarah's uh, gonna be going somewhere, I think. Oh, okay. Hell? It was nice of you to come uh, join us, Sarah. Uh, hopefully, you get uh, we get to hang out again later. <laughs> I'll uh, catch you later, Sarah. You have a good one. <laughs> get down, get down. But yeah, that was my friend Sarah. <laughs> Yay! I'm re I'm really glad she came. I I'm really happy yeah. about that. I think that's Me the. Too. Why the hell yeah. are you hiding? I think that so might have been like the. That building at the end of the street. Oh. Where'd he go? Like that, so that was really nice. I, I really love that. Could be our bell ringer. <laughs> Sarah's genuinely nice. I I, I love her, uh, her her comedy and her upbeat attitude. It's fun. Uh, maybe he's just another scavenger like us. Yeah, maybe he ain't. Maybe he's that fucker on the radio who's been messing with Clementine's head. Don't you want to know? Cause I want to know. Okay, you head up the middle of the street. I'll go around the side, cover your flank. We'll come up on him quiet, take him by surprise. Just want to talk to this guy. Oh, we're gonna talk. What the? Ah. Oh. Quick timing. Oh! Didn't have that happen. That didn't happen the last time. Lee? Clem? Last time I got knocked out. You're not from Crawford. You're not the guy on the radio. I'm not a guy at all. Full marks for observation. Mind if I get up? Slowly. Kenny, no, it's not our guy! No, he's with us! Who the hell are you people? Kenny, back off. Unless you want this lady to give you another ass whooping. Who are you <laughs> calling lady? Her name's Molly. Molly? I'm Lee. This is Kenny and Clementine. Not looking for any trouble. Hi. You guys really aren't from Crawford, are you? I don't even know what that is. Everything beyond that barricade. 
What the hell happened here? You sure you want to know? When everything started going to shit, some people got together and sealed off that whole neighborhood. Folks willing to do anything to stay alive, stop the dead getting in. I try to avoid them. Why? Let's just say they have a zero tolerance policy for anyone who won't or can't live by their rules. So how'd you know we weren't them? Because there are no children in Crawford. Not anymore. Was that you at our house this morning? Watching me through the back fence? Hell no. Believe it or not, I've got better things to do with my time. What do you mean, no children? Why not? No children, no elderly, no one with an advanced medical condition. Basically, no one who might be a burden on the community. Crawford's all about the survival of the fittest. That's how they survived, while the rest of the world went to shit around them. Jesus Christ. Well, just the opposite, when you think about it. What exactly did Crawford do with all these burdens? What happened to them? Well, you met some of them already. Fuck me. Yeah, anyone who got sick, anyone too old, Anyone they figured wasn't strong enough to survive. To them, those people were just mouths to feed. A drain on their precious resources. How do you know all this? Everyone in Savannah knew. What was going on inside Crawford got passed around like a ghost story. Except this one was true. Who's been ringing those bells all over town? Yeah, that would be me. I knew it! Lee, I knew she was the one who's been following us! Fucking with us! Get that finger out of my face, Grandpa, before I jam it straight up your ass. I haven't been following you. I don't even know who the hell you people are. Calm down, Kenny. The voice on the radio was a guy, remember? Yeah, well, whoever you are, ringing those bells this morning nearly got us all killed. Raised the dead all around us. That's the idea, genius. It's how I get around. I ring a bell in one neighborhood to attract the local geeks towards it. Buys me some time to scavenge the areas they cleared out. Geeks? Is that what you call them? Yeah, you know, like at the carnival? They'll eat anything, alive or dead. <laughs> That's pretty smart, the bells. Doesn't take much to outsmart the dead. Bunch of dumbasses. You just gotta move fast. Get in and out before they start to wander back again. Look, I'm gonna ask you people again. You're not from Crawford, so who the hell are you? What are you doing here? Came down here looking for a boat. Hoping to get our people out of here and find someplace safe. Yeah, good luck with that. Anyone with a boat took it out of here as soon as people started eating each other. Any that got left behind, Crawford stripped them for parts. Cars, too. There's gotta be something. If there was, do you think I'd still be here? I've been over every inch of this city. This whole place is picked clean. God damn it! Fuck! Hey, moron. You want to keep your voice down? Shit. Since you're not getting on any boat, I'd advise you folks to go back to where you came from before... Great. Just wait. Isn't that the... The way we came. Fuck. Gunshot must have brought him back. Isn't there another way back to the house? Mark, is there a... What the hell do you think you're doing? I'll tell you what I'm not doing. I'm not getting eaten. And what about us? What about you? Please, you can't just leave us. <sighs> Come on, make it fast. Damn it, Kenny. No, Hurry! Come on, Lee. 
Get your ass out of there! God, can't get it open! Here, use that to pry it open. Oh. Oh yeah, I forgot the quick time events. Oh. Oh. I was, I was loading something else on the side. Just like, I'm like, oh yeah, I forgot about the quick time events. Time. Can you hear me? If you can hear me, just get back to the house, okay? I'll meet you there. Shit. Feel some. I think this is around the time when Sketchy Snoot sneezed. <laughs> no way I can pry that open. I was gonna say he's got content warning. Maybe we can play with him and and uh, if Star has it or uh, or get Travis and Samson and Zach back again. That'd be fun. Yeah. <clears throat> God, just imagine. Just imagine we're playing content warning, but we all have fucking allergies. That would be that would just be ridiculous. <laughs> It's just a bunch of group of sneezy people trying to film content. Oh my god. <laughs> god <damn it. laughs> I'll bring the feathers and the pepper and the pollen for you. <laughs> could be the way out. There's no way I could take on all of those things by myself. I think actually I put up a compilation of my sneezes when I was doing the the Decima drive. Good thing I'm I think it was here. I forget if it was Star or somebody, but they mentioned it was cute. I was like, oh shucks. <laughs> Ooh. Shit. I don't mind if people I don't mind if people will put it up somewhere if they like it. I don't know. Ooh. If there's an audience for it, I'll do it. to try to hide out down here. Poor bastard. Oh, well. No bullets. He must have saved the last one for himself. You deserve better, old man. Better red than dead, I guess.
Oh, fuck. Oh. <laughs> That's the mistake I made last time. I'm a dumbass. It's just a sign. Don't think that's gonna help me find a way out of here. Damn, I can't reach it. Oh, I can hear the zombies behind me. This is a, this is a very weird take. Look at all this. It's enough to keep people alive for months. Who are you? I could ask you the same question. You barged in on us. And, and I'm the one holding the gun. So I'll ask you again. Who are you? Look, I'm sorry I disturbed you folks. I'll just be going. You can't let him leave. He's from Crawford. If he goes back there and they find out we're down here... Are you from Crawford? It don't lie to me. I'll know. Where else can he be from? Everywhere else around here is dead. I'm not from around here. I'm from Athens. Grew up in Macon. I have a brother in Macon. You were there? How was it? As bad as here? I'm sorry. You can't trust him, Vernon. You can't let him leave. What do you want me to do? Shoot him in the head? Why not? Be more of a mercy than anyone from Crawford ever showed us. Think, Vernon. What do you think they'll do if they find out we're down here, right under their feet? Damn it. You're right. I'm sorry, friend. Can't take the risk. You threatening me, old man? Because you're not gonna like how that goes. Put the fucking gun down before you really make me mad. Oh. You think so? Try me. Keep back, or I swear I'll shoot. This is the asshole run. I don't think so. I know killers. I've seen my share. You ain't got the look. And that means you ain't got the balls. Now drop the goddamn gun! <laughs> Damn! Oh <my> God. <laughs> Vernon, what have you done? Now tell me. Who the hell are you people? You say you're not from Crawford, but you sure as hell act like it. Guess you'll just have to take my word for it. Who the hell are you people? Why should we tell you anything? Because now I'm the one holding the gun. Start talking. We are from Crawford. Or were. We got out of there when they started sealing up the place. Started weeding out the sick, the old. So their perfect survivor society wouldn't be threatened. No room for weakness or vulnerability in their little master race. You don't look that old, so you're sick? My friend here asked you a question. <laughs> We're sick. We belong to a cancer survivors group that used to... Friend here, awesome and he holds the gun. Up. Now we're in remission, but that <laughs> wasn't good enough for Crawford. <laughs> They'd already rounded up five of us before we managed to hole up and hide down here. What is this? A morgue? Yeah, irony's always top of my list when I'm looking for a place to survive. Now, I don't care if you have a gun or not. I want to know how you found your way down here. My group and I were up by the river looking for a boat. Now I just want to get out of here and find them again. Well, that sewer system you came through runs all over the city. It'll take you wherever you want to go. Thanks. I think I can figure out my own way back. Vern, you're not just going to let him go back out there alone, are you? Those sewers are like a maze. He's got no chance of finding his way back without a guide. You're not going to be able to get out of here on your own. But we all got our own problems. Two of our group are sick and need constant care. And I'm the only doctor here. Besides, why should we help you? Because this is your other option. <laughs> you can either kill me or die right here. What's it gonna be? You 
son of a bitch. No, this is definitely that addition. <laughs> yeah. It's all right, Bree. I'll show you the way back to your people, and then I hope I never see you again. Oh, <sighs> fuck. I, I, I love good guy Lee run. Asshole Lee, I'm not proud of. I'm just like, nah, I'm just gonna be a dick. I'm gonna be an asshole. Ugh, fuck. Because if you don't, this bullet would like to say hello. <laughs> fuck. God, I feel like, oh, I feel terrible. But still. Clementine? Clem? Molly? Oh, hey, you made it back. Who's this? He didn't tell you about me? I'm the one who saved his ass back at the river. Who's the fossil? This is Vernon. He's a doctor. He helped me get back here after we got separated. Not by choice, I can assure you. I think you have something that belongs to me. Lee, thank God you're back. Krista, what's wrong? It's on me. He's gotten worse. Much worse. We have a man wounded. Who's this? This is Vernon. He's a doctor. Oh, thank God. Could you take a look at him? You have to help us. Please. I'll see what I can do. Take me to him. Omid, honey, you're gonna be all right. Lee brought a doctor. All right, let's take a look at him. I work better without an audience. I'm sure you have more things of your own to attend to. All right, I have to use the bathroom in just a moment, so Clementine. this. Clementine? I will be right back. I'll be with you in just a moment. Just gonna use the bathroom in a few minutes.
Sorry for the wait. No problem. Oh. Clementine, you in here? Where is she? Circle K soda. Ooh. Clementine? Clem, you in here? Don't see her anywhere out there. Uh, no walkers either, though. Clem's drawings. But where is she? Clementine. You hear? Clementine? You up there? Shit. Where could she be? Don't see her out there. Hello? What are you doing? Oh, you know, just poking around. You won't find anything. We already searched the place. You'd be surprised what people miss. Trust me, I've been doing this for a while. Where's Clementine? Don't ask me, I'm not her keeper. Hey, do I look like I'm in the mood to be jerked around? Where did she go? Last I saw, she was downstairs with your redneck friend and that college kid who hangs around with them. Why don't you go bug them? Molly? I told you, that girl isn't with me. Go ask your buddies and quit bothering me. Is she hiding in the boxes? I just want to find Clementine. <laughs> well, well, well uh, believe. Clementine are, you there? Clementine, are you in the boxes? I don't care about that. I just <laughs> well, Lee, I care about the boxes. You should look at. Sign of her in here. <laughs> Look in the boxes, Lee. Maybe she's in there. Clementine? He's in the drawers. Waiting. Open one. Maybe she's... <gasps> she's become skibbity toilet. Okay, I'll stop. <laughs> that's, the, that's the last joke I'll ever make. I promise. <laughs> hey, I don't mind. It's funny. <laughs> Clem? Clementine? Freaking anime. Clementine! That animation. Come out, oh, please! Put him, put him, put him, put him. Doesn't look like she's in here. Kenny? Oh, damn. oh, hey, you made it back. Good job. Good job. What the hell do you think you're doing? What does it look like? Where'd you get the bottle? Found it. You want to throw down again like back on the train? Because I fight better when I'm shit-faced. Kenny, come on. Give me that. Kenny, give me the damn bottle. Get the fuck away from me. Getting wasted's not going to help anyone. Yeah? Well, what is? We are fucked. Molly said there's not a single boat left in Savannah. No way out. We got walkers all around us, that crazy fuck on the radio messing with us. Hell, if now ain't the time for a drink? Have either of you seen Clementine? Damned if I know. Gotta be around here somewhere. Ben, I gave you one job when I left here. Take care of Clementine. Then she shows up out on River Street looking for me. What the hell happened? Hey, don't put all that on me. Omid took a turn for the worse, and Krista asked me to help. I'm sorry, I'm doing the best I can here. 
She was frantic and things got kind of crazy. I told Clementine to stay put. What else could I do? It's okay. I'm not mad at you. I just want to know where she is. I think she went out to play in the backyard. On her own? With no one watching her? Man, will you get off my back? She's fine out there. She better be or it's your ass. Clementine? Clementine! Doors covered in vines. Don't think anyone came in through there. Yeah, sure, she's in the doghouse. <laughs> Passage likes to climb into little holes like that. <laughs> Clementine, no! Oh, wait, she's not in there. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. What have I told you about wandering off on your own? I know, I know. Stay close to you. But you weren't here. And look, look what I found. Oh, a boat. Yeah, we got a boat. Let's go, team. Yeah. Holy shit. Swear. <laughs> Swear. <laughs> Kenny, fuck off. It's my boat. I saw it first. Go away. <laughs> <laughs> no takesies, backsies. I claim the boat. It's mine. Mine. <laughs> we're totally we're, Kenny's on his own I'm, I want to abandon Kenny <laughs> no Kenny fuck off it's my boat I yes. I call the shots around here cause I'm an asshole <laughs> find your keepers yep what's taking Kenny so damn long how hard can it be to look over a boat it'll take as long as it takes him will you quit pacing? oh don't worry he's having a lot of fun with it nervous. guys why are you even still here? <laughs> hey, if your friend really can get that boat working, you're taking me with you as payment for saving your asses. I figure that's fair enough, don't you? Well? You want the good news or the bad news? In this universe, I'll take the good I news. I think we could all use some good news. Good news is, the boat's seaworthy enough. In pretty good shape, mostly. Mostly? That's the bad news. Gas tank's empty, and her battery's dead. We need to fix both before she's taking us any place. Well, how are we supposed to get that stuff? Maybe we should just stay put. Reconsider our options. That boat's not going anywhere. We just need some time to figure out a plan. Time's the one thing we don't have. Not while Omid's lying upstairs getting sicker by the minute. We need to do something, and we need to do it now. Plus, I don't like the idea of just sitting around here waiting for whoever's been stalking us on the radio to pay us a visit. Well, what about this Crawford place? Sounds like they'd have everything we need. Maybe we should try there. Now hold on a minute. Surely we have to try? If there are people left in this city who are still alive, who still have supplies, what harm can it do to ask? Trust me, you don't know these people. I do. You showing up with a wounded man? Might as well put a noose around his neck. They don't exactly welcome children with open arms, either. What the hell kind of a place are we talking about here? The worst kind? But I don't see what other choice we have. And just how exactly do you figure we do this? Because from what I've heard, that place ain't exactly friendly to outsiders. 
We negotiate with them like civilized people. We must have something they'd be interested in taking in trade. Negotiate? With Crawford? Once again, I have to remind you. You have no idea what these people are like. They'll take what they want and then decide whether or not to let any of you live. So what? No one has any ideas? There might actually be a way. I know the sewer system that runs beneath Crawford like the back of my hand. Y'all wouldn't happen to have a map by any chance. Yeah, actually. I think I could lead us through so we could pass under the perimeter and right into the center where they keep their supplies. We come up right underneath them, take them by surprise, grab what we need, and get out before they even knew what hit them. Okay, that's not bad. That's better. I've thought about it before, just never had the people <laughs> to do it. But I think if we all work together, we could pull it off. And what do you want in return for all this help you're giving us? Crawford doesn't just have what you need for your boat. They're also well stocked with medical supplies. Medicine that my people could use, just as yours could. We can do this. We have to. So, it's decided then? We're going to Crawford? We can do this. I know it. Hell yeah, we can. Are we seriously talking about this? I mean, what about the risk? I don't know about you, kid, but I'd rather take a chance on doing something than just sitting around here waiting to die. That boat out there is an answered prayer. Just gotta push a little bit farther. Are you in or out? We should go tonight, under cover of dark. I'll go let my people know. Give you all a chance to prepare. I'll be back before midnight. Be careful. That's how I'm still alive. I told you to stay in your room. How long have you been there? Is it going to be dangerous? Is what going to be dangerous? Crawford. I can't lie to you, Cliff. Yeah, it's going to be dangerous. But it's the only way to get the things we need to make Omi better and get the boat working. That's why we have to do this. Do you understand? I don't want anyone else to die. No one else is gonna die, I promise. That's like the promise you made to me after Duck died. But you can't really promise that, can you? No, I guess I can't. Sorry. I guess I should go get ready. Uh, say what now? Well, you said you'd need all of us to do this. I'm a man of broken promises. Remember? Oh, God. Molly said Crawford is the only place left in Savannah that still has people. That means it must be where my mom and dad are, right? I don't think I'll find them in Crawford, Sweet Pea. Why not? Because they're good people. And Crawford is a bad place run by bad people. I don't think they would have stayed in a place like that. How do you know they're good? You've never met them. Well, they raised you, didn't they? Can't I come with you? Mm. I'm going to see if this makes it different. I'm going to see what happens. No. Right I'm sorry. Hey, we gotta deviate from the norm here. We gotta deviate from the norm. Otherwise, it just becomes a repeat of the the other one, the other stream, right, Sprite? <laughs> yeah. Man, this feels so heartbreaking watching this. Uh. I know. Oh, God, I really am a fucking dick in this. Life. God damn. <laughs> It's like, no. <laughs> Maybe in another universe, Clementine, I said, yes, you Check can join me, but not Hatchet, this one. Hacksaw, some other tools might come in handy on this little break-in. Nice. Can I talk to you a minute? What's up? No, you cannot Let's talk to me. Look at the boat. She's a 30-footer. So? So we're going to have a capacity problem. A boat that size ain't going to hold more than five people. 
Even with one of them a kid. Okay, remove Kenny. I suggest we vote Kenny out. <laughs> Kenny, Kenny. Kenny. <laughs> Fuck you. Kenny in the head. Shoot him in the head. <laughs> yeah, take care of Kenny and then take Even the boat. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Kick him in the balls <laughs> and then take his boat. I'm just saying, if we have the best chance of... Who the hell is this? This is Bree. She can help us. Help us how? I was a student at the school where Crawford keeps their supplies. I know the layout. With her help, we're in and out faster. Anyone have a problem with that? I guess not. Then what are we waiting for? Let's get moving. Hold up just a sec. You understand why you have to stay behind, don't you? I guess. Plus, you have a job to do. An important job. I need you to stay here and watch over the house. Watch over Omi. Well, what should I do if something happens while you're gone? Here. I want you to take this. You remember how to use it, don't you? It's just like I showed you. I remember. So if anyone tries to get inside the house that isn't one of us, or if something does happen to Omi... I know what to do. Hmm... Let's get you inside. You go with him, go in with her. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get this over with. It's so weird seeing this from just slightly different takes. So it's like, yeah. Yeah, like I said, the this should be I lucked out, so Monday you'll be able to see the the ones that you missed. Above us. So okay, yeah, check it on Monday it. if you want to see the the, the the good boy we run. Stay quiet. We stay hidden. And we the stay good together. wolf run. We find what we need, and we yeah. get the hell out before anyone even knows we're there. Got it? Can't get a good look above with the cover on. Oops, that was my fault. <laughs> Try no clipping, Lee. And you can see. Let's go. Where is everybody? There should be guards patrolling. What? Are you disappointed? It's just strange is all. I think I see one. Over there by the door. Sneak up, try to take him out quiet. The rest of you wait for our signal, then follow us over. Everybody got it? Okay, Kitty, let's do this quiet. No shooting unless there's no other choice. Right behind you. What the fuck? What the fuck is a walker doing inside here? Get inside, fast! Think they saw us? Definitely. Shit. What the hell happened here? I thought this place was supposed to be secure. What always happens, I guess. In the end, the dead always win. Oh man, we are so screwed. No, this is good. What? How the fuck is this good? 
Before, everyone in Crawford was smart and they had guns. Now they're dumb, they don't. Hey, trying to look on the bright side here. I agree. So long as we don't let them box us in, we can still do this. The plan hasn't changed. The plan hasn't changed? Every time walkers show up, the plan changes. Do you even have any idea how many of them are out there? No. You want to do a head count? Or do you want to get what we need and get the hell out of here? Come on. I think I know which way to head. I got a bad feeling about this. Well, knowing what happens later, I won't spoil that. Just keep moving. Actually, we know why Snoot sneezed later, like during the, the part with the school. <laughs> uh. Looks okay. Everybody in. Looks like they were using this room as some kind of command center. Okay, so now what? Where do we start looking? Here. Just give me a sec. Where can we find some fuel for the boat? There's a maintenance shed across from the playground here. If they were storing fuel, that's probably where it'll be. Where would be the best place to look for medicine? Right here. Nurse's station. They were using it as a medical facility. How do you know that? Just makes sense, doesn't it? So then we just need a battery. This auto shop. It's right next door. Yep, it's called Herman's. You can't miss it. Okay, I'll make the run to the maintenance shed for the fuel. It'll be faster if I go with you. I can take you right to it. I'll come too. No, two people's enough. You stay here, see if you can use any of those tools we brought to get that armory door open. We might need to shoot our way out of here. I'll go for the medicine. I'll come with you. I know what to take. Okay. Guess that leaves me to go find us a battery. I'll go with you. Watch your back. Okay, we've got a plan. Everyone be careful. Stay close to one another. We'll all meet back here. Good luck. but crayons and construction paper. So according to Bree, fuel is at the maintenance shed, medicine might be at the nurse's office, and a battery would probably be at the auto shop out through here. Uh, the fuel's in a shed across from the playground. It's just outside the stairwell. And if we're going to find medicine anywhere, that would be the place to look. Bree said the entrance to the auto shop was in the alleyway by this fire escape. The Georgia State flag. A lot of history there. Not that it matters much now, I guess. Hopscotch. Hopscotch. Oh, Great. 
creepy. Might come back for these later. Any reading material would be nice once we get on that boat. No power, no TV. Hey, you need any help with that? Thanks, I got it. Just once, I'd like to do something useful, you know? You're plenty useful. Ha, huh, yeah, right. Seems like all I ever do is get us into trouble. Well, uh, I'll let you get on with it. No, wait. There is something you can help me with. Something that's been on my mind. I could use your opinion. What is it? It's Kenny. Since I've been helping him work on the boat, I've gotten to know him a little better. He's a good guy, you know? And it's eating me up knowing what I know. I've been thinking about telling him the truth. Ben, come on. This again? It's my fault Dr. Nkacha got killed. If I hadn't screwed up back at the motor inn, they'd still be alive. How am I supposed to just carry something like that around? I have to tell him. I agree. I think you should tell him. Just <laughs> not now. You don't get it, Ogi. What am I supposed to do whenever he talks about Katja and Duck? Just nod and pretend like it wasn't my fault. I can't do it anymore. Ben, listen. Kenny seems like he's got his shit back together because right now he's got a purpose. But he's still in a real bad place. You tell him now, he's gonna lose it. And then we're all screwed. There'll come a time when he's ready to hear it. But it's not now. Not yet. I hear you. I'm gonna get back to this. <laughs> I have a feeling he's gonna fuck it up. Just, just, just saying, you know. Looks like they have a you know. system here. Providence final <laughs> solution. Initials of the person conducted search. Initials about the coffer. None of the citizens found. Dason's outbreak three. And this is where Clementine would sit if she was there with me, because she clearly wasn't, because I told her to stay home. Oh, uh, no. Oh, yeah. And the other one, I, I let her come with. Ooh. Not this time. <laughs> she gets to stay home and play her Game Boy with Omid and play Uno, you know, maybe watch TV, Must be the guy go on some YouTube, I don't like know. He figured himself as some I forget if he even had leader. YouTube in 2002, I don't think he did. Uh. Nothing in there. The alleyway to the auto shop's down here. You coming or not? Well, first I need to... Oh, I can. So there's the slide. Oh, right, slide. Slide. On. Slide. On. slide. <laughs> I need to use the bathroom, Lee. Let's go. Locked. I didn't need to use the bathroom anyway. <laughs> this must be the way to the playground where Bree said the fuel was being stored. Lee, what did I say? Are you coming or not? Do you want me to leave you here? Do, can you do that? <laughs> <laughs> Must be the guy who ran this place. Max called the Looks this like uh the Discord admin school or whatever. Like <laughs> this is like a real Discord admin server. <laughs> Can't open it without the combination. Well, you know, okay, let's go find the combination. Too bad I don't know the combination to any of these. Wait. Oh, here we go. Want a soda? I think it's empty. Those Crawford people probably locked this stuff up somewhere. Hey, guys, what's up? You guys need any help? Thanks, but I think we're almost in. We're taking care of it, Lee. Don't worry. Okay. Bye. Am I standing in front of a door? <laughs> have, fun, have fun staring at paint dry. Yeah. <laughs> this must be the door to the alleyway where the auto shop is. Where the hell is Molly? 
He left you, bro. He gone, bro. Bobby, you out here? So I just realized Molly, and I made the connection. Molly, so the doll from me. Big Comfy Couch. <laughs> oh. <laughs> like Blue Ned and Molly. <laughs> On the Big Comfy oh, Couch. Must be down this way. Slide on. Slide in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I saw her. I saw her face. I swear to God, where'd she go? I saw you, Molly. Don't pretend I didn't see you. Don't run for me. Like, I legit walked up and I caught a glimpse of her, like, a, for a split second. Holy shit. Get too close. It sounded like somebody yawning, probably me. <laughs> oh man. Damn, it's jammed tight. I'm gonna need something to pry that door open. That's okay. Listening to that second time, that sounds like somebody yawning. I'm not kidding. It's like, oh, yeah. guys, I'm tired. <laughs> There's my zombie voice. He's mine. Nice to see you. <laughs> nice to see you. What the hell do you think you're doing? It's dead already. I think you can lay off. Don't tell me what to do. You kill geeks your way, I'll kill him mine. Damn. <laughs> All right. He's wearing medical scrubs. Some kind of scientist or doctor, maybe? Yeah, well, he ain't shit now. <sighs> I'm putting the fan. It's a little hot in my room. Ooh. Find us a way in. Yeah, but the garage door's jammed. Can't raise it. Not a problem. Look what I found. Oh, yeah, that'll work. Yeah, this is when Snoots. <laughs> He's allergic to zombies. Take a look around. I'll make sure no stragglers get under this door. <sighs> they make me worse. <laughs> Damn. All that dust in there. Well, I can see where the battery should be. But it's not. Perfect. Something you need? 
So why did you decide to help us? I told you. I'm expecting a ride on that boat once that hillbilly friend of yours has got it running. You sure that's all of it? You want to keep interrogating me, or do you want to get the damn battery and get out of here? What was all that about back there? He came at me up on that rooftop, tried to take a bite out of me, so I took care of business. What, you got a problem with me killing geeks? No, it just seemed like you went to town <laughs> on him a little more than you needed to. Hey, you never really know when those things are all the way dead. I was just making sure. Look, you want to get this battery or not, time's wasted. <laughs> What do you think happened to Crawford? Don't know, don't care. As far as I'm concerned, these fuckers got what was coming to them. Not a lot of sympathy for all the people who died here, huh? I have about as much for them as they did for the sick and the old and anyone else they didn't think was fit to belong in their little paradise. So yeah, fuck them. I'm going to have a look around. You do that. Locked. No way in. No power. Looks like it's the hose for the lift hydraulics. More of Crawford's rules. How did anybody live like this? I'd rather take my chances on the outside. Are you doing it again? Slide, Slide on in. <laughs> that blinky must be an anti-theft system. Good chance of a working battery being in that car. If I can find a way to get up there. I can't reach it up there. Looks like Crawford had their own semi-trucks. Something you need? Think I can borrow that uh, hook thing of yours? I don't know. Hilda and I have been through a lot together. Hilda? That's what I call her. Don't judge. Please, can I borrow? She has a name. I'll take good care of it. <laughs> she names she won't it. Get a scratch. Hilda. I got your promise now. Not a scratch. Well, when I'm done with it, there'll be Hilda pay. Hilda pay. Nah, that, that, was, that was terrible. <laughs> Oh. I can't reach it up there. I wonder. Oh, that's the only thing I can do. I did it. Whoa, whoa! Uh -oh. That's probably not good. No shit! Yeah, no shit! I'll try to hold him off. Hurry! There's the battery. Finally, something goes right. Got that one off. The positive terminal still bolted on. The positive terminal oh. still bolted on. Oh, shit. The positive just, terminal uh, still bolted on. Oh. The positive terminal what? still bolted on. What? <laughs> the positive valve is still turned on. <laughs> that wasn't me doing it on purpose. I was just like, "What's?" Yeah, but we still got a problem here. Put it in here. I'll carry it. Okay, follow me. Move your ass. Wait, what if I were to just? Oh, all right, fine. You want me to booty take? You will sneeze them away. <laughs> <laughs> Great, now what? Skylight. Never stop complaining. Come on. Do you ever stop acting? Questing <laughs> questions. Just Come follow on, my lead. Chicken, jump. <laughs> follow yeah. my lead, Lee. Yes. <laughs> what did you call me? Well, now that you mention it. 
Oh, no, he pulled but... a uh, Marty McFly right there. Yeah. I remember making that joke the last time. I said, nobody calls me chicken. Nobody. <laughs> Come on. Later. Something I gotta do first. What? Catch you later. Wait, you've still got the battery. Yeah, I think I'll hold on to it. Make sure you don't leave without me. See you back in class. Molly! Damn it, what the hell is she doing? Well, a bad girl. I'll see you back in class. You, sure you two don't need any help? We're taking care of it. <laughs> They're still there, just standing there menacingly. Come on, do something. <laughs> They're just. They're like the. I'm sorry, but I'm just gonna say this right now, but they're basically crawling. Jam his brain though. Lee, do something! There we go. Break the door with something! You got the fuel. Let's not start high fiving each other just yet. Let's get the hell back to the classroom. What's a hand with these fuel cans? They weigh a goddamn ton. Hey, how'd you guys make out? We got the fuel. Well, we made awesome. up by kissing Good each job, other, guys. and then I hugged Kenny, and and, and Kenny put his hat on top so of me, and then we made out. Here. Oh, make yeah. out, uh, make out. Okay, okay. <laughs> sorry, sorry. That literally yeah. felt like Mommy you know what. She should be back <laughs> soon. She'd better be. Well, he did say, "How did we make out?" I was like, "Well, when a when a, when a man loves a woman, and uh... <laughs> continue." <already. laughs> oh no. no. No, I don't want to explain the birds and the bees to Ben and Kenny. No way. Once we find some medicine, we'll be good to go. So where's this battery you found? Molly has it. She ran off to do something. Well, she better bring it back here. I don't know why you trusted that girl with it. We hardly know her. She saved your life, didn't she? Trust me. I love yeah. her. What has she done for me lately? You're too love-struck, Lee. What are you guys doing with that door? Slower than I'd like. Don't worry, we'll get it open. I think. What are you guys doing with that door? Slower than I'd like. Don't worry, we'll get it open. I think. I don't know. I need to know again. How are you guys doing with that door? Do I need to explain to you how I make out? So here's what. So I, <laughs> I, I pull them in and I kiss them on the cheek and I say, Kenny, oh, what whiskers you got on you? <laughs> okay, I'll stop. <laughs> <laughs> Lee X Kenny confirmed. There we go. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, here we go. Cle Cle Clementine, what do you think of the situation? Oh my God. I think that's a great idea, Lee. Great idea. I love it, Lee. Great job. 10 out of 10. Wonderful job. Well, thank you, Clementine. I'm glad you're doing okay. Glad you could make it. Thank you with us on this fantastic adventure. Uh, actually, hold on. Uh, hi, Clementine. Hi, Clementine. Just a bunch of paste. Damn right. That's a lot of paste. I have to wonder what's going on in the rest of the world. Hmm. Nothing but crayons and construction paper. I mean, I can ask, I can give it to, uh, I give it to Bree and be like, here, uh, here you go. I got some crayons and paper. If we draw smiley faces and hearts, maybe we'll we'll solve this Bree? problem and get along. No fine. offense, but I'm not really looking for conversation. What's wrong? Nothing's wrong. I just don't particularly like you. If this is about Vernon, I did what I had to do to get him to help us. I was only looking out for my people. And I'm looking out for mine. That's the only reason I'm here. So if there's nothing else, fine. Oh shit. I be that way. Stare at paint dry. Jeez. God. 
How dare she? I know, right? How dare she insult us like that? I just power walked my friends and oh. Kristen Brunner must be trapped in there. Well, both like they literally were forced to go in. Not like they could have just done that earlier. <laughs> right. I just fired so fucking blindly. <laughs> pow, 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 pow. What the hell happened? They wandered into the hallway after we got inside. I think they must have heard us rooting around in here. The whole place is infested. They're everywhere. Calm down. If I remember correctly, y'all were just standing there at me. What about the meds? <laughs> Did we find what we need? Yeah, that's our other problem. Take a look. Looks like they were keeping all the prescription meds in that safe, locked up tight. There's no way we can bust it open? Maybe with enough time, but I don't know how much of that we have. Be a hell of a lot quicker if we just knew the four digit combination. Well, I doubt they just wrote it down and left it here for us to find. We should just try busting it open. We don't have any other choice. Okay, you get started. I'll take a look around, see if I can find anything useful. What's this on the floor? It's a sonogram. Do you think shooting it open would work? Only thing that would accomplish is getting us all killed. So, no, I don't. Hmm. Hey, Krista. Yeah? Are you feeling okay? I'm fine. Why are you asking me that? It's just that you've been looking a little pale the past couple of days. You're throwing up. Oh, come on. You just dug up a rotting dog carcass. I'm surprised we weren't all throwing up. Lee, <laughs> I'm fine. Quit worrying about me, okay? Worry about Omid. We've got to get him these meds. I hope I did the right thing leaving Clementine back at the house. What else were you going to do? Bring her on a dangerous mission? I know, I know. Just want her to be safe. Why shouldn't you be? No offense, Krista, but Omid's pretty sick. If he dies with Clementine alone in the house with that her... That is not going to happen. Do you hear me? That is not going to happen. We're going to get these meds to Omid, and he's going to be fine. He's going to be fine. You're right. I'm sorry. Sorry. Are you making any progress with the safe? He just like got no. like a flippy dog right there. <laughs> yeah. Thing thing if we don't get back to Omid with some medicine soon, it's okay. We'll figure it out. Look, Lee. I just want to get back to Omid. Let me do my thing. All right. Okay. Y'all already checked these drawers? Yes, Lee. Nothing in there worth taking. <laughs> yes, Lee. Oh, wait. Let's click that. There's dried blood on this printout. And on the floor. Looks like a trail of it from the safe to the camera over there. Then out the door. What the hell happened here? No tape inside. I'll have to take time to rest later, I think. <laughs> what is this? A copy machine. Not that it matters with no power around here. Just a bunch of papers. No safe combination. It just looks so scribbled in. <laughs> Not working. Phones probably haven't worked in months. Looks like some kind of medical file. Anna Correa. Guess she must have been a patient here. And what's this? How's it coming? Slow. Too slow. I'm worried that by the time we manage to get this thing open, it may be too late. Molly helped me get the battery we needed. That's great. One down. Where is she? She took off. Had some kind of errand she needed to run. Took off? With the battery? Yeah. Don't worry, she'll be back. 
I hope so. That girl doesn't really strike me as a team player. More the mercenary kind. How much time do you think Omid has, Doc? You want my medical opinion? The sooner we get him some strong antibiotics to start fighting that infection, the better. Let's just leave it at that, huh? Hey, Doc. Uh, I just wanted to thank you for coming with us. And for all your help. I really appreciate it. Hey, don't thank me. I'm not doing this for you. I'm doing it for my people. They need this medicine as badly as your friend does. I'll go see if I can find something that'll help us get that safe open. Good idea. Vernon, Krista, come look at this. This is day 82 since the outbreak. 1547, Dr. Logan in consultation with patient Anna Correa. Why are you recording this? Regulations. Oberson has ordered me to keep records of all medical examinations and consultations. I need you to brace yourself, Anna. The sonogram confirms that you're pregnant. Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. As you know, the rules are very clear. The termination is mandatory. You don't have to tell them. Tell them it was just nausea. But you gave me something for it and it went away. This is my problem, not yours. If Oberson finds out that I concealed evidence of a pregnancy, I'm sorry, but these are the rules. I'm going to give you a sedative. It'll make the procedure easier on you. I don't want the procedure. I want my baby. I can't do this. I can't do this. Anna, you don't have a choice. Now, if you like, you can take some time with this. But I need you to come back no later than tomorrow, or I'll have no choice but to inform Oberson myself. I'm sorry. <laughs> Guess they have birth control or something. Damn it, we almost had it. What the hell kind of place was this? Like Molly said, the worst kind. Lee, maybe there's another tape. We gotta keep looking. I think I recognize that doctor. He was one of the walkers out in the alley by the auto shop. Maybe you should search him. See what he's got on him. Power walk. Wee. Wee. Whoop. Speed run. No, you don't. <laughs> Guessing a TV fell on him. the doctor from before this is definitely the guy this might be just what we need and what's this looks like some kind of code but Vernon well, said there's the oh yeah I didn't think about it at the time that was the because I didn't access the, the locker back then. Oh. So it's like, now, let's see what happens when we open up the locker. That's another reason why I'm doing two playthroughs, too. Logan. Yeah. This must have been his locker. How did he magically open it without doing...
found two more tapes. One of them is dated October 10th. That's the day after the first one. His mouth wasn't moving, I noticed. Oh. Have you made a decision? I thought you said I didn't have a choice. Well, technically you do. You can terminate the pregnancy or leave Crawford. Of course, that would be a death sentence for both you and your unborn child. Maybe that's best. I stayed up all last night thinking about this. Why are we even trying to survive, to keep on living, if this is what it takes, if this is what it's turned us into? I don't make the rules, Anna. Doctor, I'm begging you, please help me. Maybe one day when things are different, you can try again. But for now, today, we have to do this. They probably start the zombie breach, maybe. More importantly, Most likely, yeah. <laughs> oh, I, I... Look. We're in business. Antibiotics, morphine. We take as much of this as we can carry. Okay, I think we're good. This is more than enough for your people and mine. Let's go. You know, I found a third tape in the locker outside. Maybe there's something else on there. We got the meds for a need. That's all I care about. We'll head back to the classroom. Don't take too long, Lee. Yeah, I want to see the other tape. <laughs> Let's see what this one's about, because I didn't get to see that the last time. Oh. Listen, as fun as this was, I have to tell you oh. this is arrangement. This is the last I can give you. Why? Oberson had someone down here yesterday taking inventory. He's really cracking down. I just can't risk it. We had a deal. Yes, we had a deal. We don't anymore. My sister needs this medicine. Without it, she'll die or she'll start showing symptoms and they'll take her away. I can't let that happen. I'm sorry, Molly. I've done all I can. I have to look out for myself here. Yeah, that's the Crawford way, isn't it? Oh, that's So he's been doing something oh, with her? Shit. There's a reason why she was attacking him. Yeah. Oh. Jesus, I, don't, I have no words for that. That's pretty, pretty fucked. No pun intended. I'm sorry. That's not okay. That's that's pretty <laughs> messed up. That was pretty yeah. Bad. Yeah. Good thing I didn't play that while the other Jesus guys. Jesus Christ! Oh, you scared the shit out of me. Where the fuck have you been? Sightseeing. I'll take that battery down. Oh, yeah. Uh, about that. What? I'm just kidding. <laughs> Here you go. What's that? Nothing. You lied to me. What? You said you'd never been here before. But that wasn't the truth, was it? What? Who told you that? I saw you on a security tape. You were having an affair with that doctor. I didn't lie. I asked you how you knew about Crawford. You said you just heard stories. I said there were stories about Crawford. I never said that's how I knew about it. I never lied to you, and even if I did, so what? I don't owe you anything. You saved my life twice, but you can't tell me the truth? Are we really gonna do this now? I guess that's up to you. I used to live here with my sister. She was 14 years old. When the dead started walking and Crawford shut itself in, 
It seemed like a pretty good deal at first. We were safe. We had everything we needed to survive. Then the rules started coming down. No one who couldn't justify their place and their keep. No one who required special care. My sister was diabetic, and by Crawford's rules, that made her a liability. I kept it a secret. I kept her safe for as long as I could, but in the end, I couldn't protect her. That's when I got out. Crawford, they always talked about how their system worked, how anything was better than becoming one of them, but I saw what they'd already become. I just wish I could have seen it before it was too late, before they mm. came and took my sister away. This is all I have left of her. I didn't have time to take it before I got out of Crawford. I just wanted it, okay? It's okay, Bonnie. I understand. She's pretty. What the hell? I think that's our cue to get the hell out of here. Some things never change. Oh, Jesus! Shit. Ben. I'm sorry, sorry. I just got spooked by those bells, and then I heard someone coming. We're okay. Did you get that door open in the classroom? Not yet. Kenny sent me out to look for something we can use to bust it open. I found this. Oh, uh, Ben? Where did you get that? I just found it. It was stuck in the door handle at the end of the hallway back there. You dumb. Oh, shit! Gotta go. Time for me to ben, save her life. Move your ass! I wonder what would have happened if I fucked up and accidentally shot her. Like, oops! What the fuck is going on? They're coming. Oh, oh shit! God. That ought to hold them. Sir, but now how do we get out? Through the armory. We can just get this damn door open. Come on, damn you! This is my fault. All my fault. The hell's he babbling about? Ben. Talked about this. No, wait. I want to know what he meant. What do you mean this is all your fault? Kenny, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, man. Kid, this ain't the best time. Whatever you did, save it for later. Fine. Go ahead. Tell him. It's been me all along, putting all of us in danger. Katja and Duck, it was all me. It was all me. Wait a minute. What are you saying? It was me who made the deal with the bandits at the Motor Inn, slipping them supplies. I thought maybe I could keep them off our backs. When it got discovered, that's when they attacked. And that's when Duck... Kitty, lay off, man! Ben didn't mean for any of this to happen! It was all just a mistake! I don't give a fuck! You little pisshead! You're fucking dead, you hear me? Dead! My wife and child! You got them both fucking killed! Nice group you got here. Not the time, Molly. If this asshole thinks he's getting on my boat after what he did, he's out of his motherfucking mind! You hear me, shitbird? You can stay behind and fucking rot! You know Ben didn't mean any harm. He was just trying to help. And I'm supposed to give a crap about his good intentions? The boat's not big enough for all of us. Somebody's got to get left behind. Might as well be this piece of shit right here. Well, I vote we leave him. I'm sorry, Ben. I know you mean well. But all I want to do is get back to Omin, and you put that at risk. I've seen enough of Crawford to know that becoming like them is the beginning of the end. I vote Ben stays with us. What about the rest of us? Don't we get a say? Oh. Oh, crap. Oh. You said a mouthful. She... Now can we go? Damn She's right. done. Vernon, come on. Crap. Ah. Ah. 
So much for the armory. What's left of it? A few rounds. That's it. You didn't close that door behind us? I couldn't. The lock was busted. Great. Just fucking great. Come on. There's got to be a way out down here. Oh. Oh, hey. Hey, what's up? <laughs> it's not going to hold. Back upstairs. Lee, look. Down you go. Down you go. Hey, what's up? Bye bye. Hey, big fella. There you go. Come on. Any way out of here? This leads to the roof. We might be able to find a way down from there. You didn't come into town from the railroad, did you? Yeah. Why? Never mind. I can see the sewer where we came in from here. I think we can do this. Well, what are we waiting for? Go, go! Man, come on, let's go! Oh no. That's who was ringing the bell. I'm saving you, Ben. The decision I didn't make before. I'm saving you, Ben. Climb up. Come on, you can do it. There's no time. You have to go now. Fucking around, Ben. Come on. Let go, damn it. Get the others out of here. Me. Fuck off, Kenny. This is about... You're not my friend anymore. Ben is my friend. Ben is good boy. <laughs> we, we both know. What? No! Let me go. No. You're coming with me. Get in here, damn you! There you go. Why? Go, go, go! I guess Kenny's a dipshit. I don't like him. <laughs> he goes fuck for him. Actually, you actually saved him. Yeah, last time I let him go because I was like, <laughs> I was hard on Ben Drop. I was consistent. Yeah. Oh. Clementine. Oh, what? Told you I would, didn't I? Did you find my parents? No, we didn't. Sorry, sweet pea. I looked for them, but no. Clementine, we didn't look at all. If I did, things got inside. It tried to get upstairs. <laughs> we didn't look for them at all. Actually, <laughs> we were too busy watching uh, the naughty tapes. Uh... You're good kiddo, real good. <laughs> hey, what do you say we go check on Omi? Krista? Everything okay? Oh, me!
Clementine, when did you last check on him? Like an hour ago? He was awake then. He was fine. Is he... I never should have left you. I'm so sorry. Krista, get away from him. <clears throat> skibbity, 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 dum, hey. dum, dum. Yes, yes. Back already? Skibbity, okay. <laughs> we got you medicine. <sighs> Good. I feel like I could use some. You okay, kid? You look worse than I do. We almost didn't make it out of there because of this asshole. Should have left him behind when we had the chance. Guys, what the hell happened out there? Let someone else tell you. I got work to do. Okay, with a little luck, you should start feeling better pretty soon. I'll stay here for a few more hours to check on him. Let me know if you need anything. Thanks, Doc. Yes. Thank you so much. Maybe now's a good time for you and me to have a little talk in private. Listen, Rita, about what happened to Bree. Please, save your sympathy for someone who's buying you. What? You don't think by now I got you figured? You don't strike me as someone who has a lot of consideration for others. Look at what you did to get me to come here with you in the first place. You expect me to believe you give a shit that it wound up costing Bree her life? Now just hold on a damn minute. Listen. No, you listen. You got some good people here and they look to you as their leader. Well, I'm here to tell you the kind of leader you are. They're not going to make it much longer. And you're kidding yourself if you think putting them all on a boat is going to solve anything. Now, you may not care about all of those people, but I know you care about that little girl. Which is why I'm gonna make you an offer. What kind of an offer? I'll take her off your hands, take her back with me to my people. We're well supplied, well hidden, and a lot of us have had kids of our own. And now Crawford's fallen, we got nothing left to fear from them. She'll be safe with us. Safer than she will be if she stays with you, I promise you. That's what you want for her, isn't it? Be safe? I'm gonna pretend you didn't say any of this and give you a chance to walk away, which you ought to do right now. I know you think you're doing what's best for her. And if you were her real father, we wouldn't be having this conversation. But you're not. And staying with you is not what's best for her. If no one else around here will tell you that, then I will. That little girl's in my care. We've been through more together than you can imagine. Anyone who tries to get between me and her, anyone, is going to wind up dead. You hear me? Yeah. Take your hands off me. God, I love this. Ugh. Oh, no. <laughs> I don't know which run I love better. Good boy Lee or bad boy Lee. Oh, <laughs> uh, fuck. Don't touch me, you filthy old man. Touch me, you filthy animal. Hey, <laughs> going somewhere? Yeah, I'm about to head out. I, I just wanted to say thanks for everything. It's been fun. What are you talking about? Kenny's working on the boat right now. Thought you were coming with us. God knows you earned it. Yeah, I've been thinking it over. It's not for me. Sounds like it'd be pretty crowded, and I never did like the water. You sure about this? I'm sure. I've always done better on my own anyhow. Listen, I'm not much for goodbyes. Tell the others for me? Sure. You take care of yourself, Molly. You too, Lee. You deserve a hug. Vernon, no. Kenny, yeah. no. Kenny don't get no hugs. Be unless sure I'm going to beat him up in the girl. train. <laughs> Good luck. Ain't nothing to do with luck.
Hey, sweet pea. Hey, oh, Penny's hey, talking time? on the boat. I know. What are we going to do after he fixes it? Where will we go? We'll go wherever Kenny says. He's a good captain, and he knows the waters down south. He'll know where to take us. Grim, honey, what's wrong? Is Ben going to be okay? He doesn't seem the same since he got back. Ben's a good kid. I think he's just <laughs> feeling guilty about some of the decisions he's made. He's getting to feeling like he's a burden on the rest of us. Before we leave, I shouldn't tomorrow, be laughing. This is such a weird run. <laughs> I'd like to, Grim, but I don't think we'll have time. We really shouldn't stay here any longer. It's not safe. <laughs> hey there. Shh. It's okay. It's okay. Don't cry. <laughs> this is the sad depressing run <laughs> yeah <sighs> could time Clementine? Clementine? Clementine! Oh, God. What? Oh shit! Yeah, he got bit. Are you crazy? What are you doing out here? It ain't safe. Lee? Where's Clementine? She's not in her room. Vernon ain't in the house either. What the hell is going on? Whose blood is that? It's a walker's. Fucker jumped me from behind. So where's Clementine? Clementine's gone. I found her hat and her radio on the ground out here. That's all I found. There's no chance she just wandered off on her own? No. No way. Then who the hell took her? I don't know. Last night, Vernon came to me and offered to take her with him. Said she'd be better off. Son of a bitch. I knew we couldn't trust that fucker. Wherever she is, I have to find her. Clem may not have much time. We have a better chance of finding her if we all go together. Who's with me? You've been there for me when it's mattered. How can I not be there for you now? Not to mention Clementine saved my life when you guys were gone. I owe that little girl one. So that's settled then. We'll look for Clementine together. Hell yeah. What are we waiting for? Are you sure about this? 
could be dangerous. As opposed to what? Day-to-day -day life these days? Reassure me. Just lead the way. I don't know why you're looking over here, Lee. Hell, I can't remember the last time you went out on a limb for me, if ever. And I've got a boat to prep. You know what, Kenny? Go fuck yourself. <laughs> you gonna let a little girl die because I didn't have your back every damn minute? Maybe you should grow the fuck up. Yeah. What asshole? You might not have been killed well, like for you, son of a bitch, but I sure as hell have. And you've always looked out for yourself more often than your friends. Well, now you're gonna know what that feels like, asshole. Because I'm gonna look out for myself and get that boat ready to sail. What about you, Ben? I don't know. But whatever you think is best. Clementine's one of the few good things left in this world. She always had a kind word for you, Ben. And she needs you now. Don't you think you owe it to her to help? You're right. I owe her. Yeah, go fuck yourself, so, Kenny. Before this is all over. Fuck Ed, off, Kenny. Go take your boat and get the hell out of here. I'll prove it to you. You'll see. Damn right. Yeah. Come on, guys. Let's go. Yeah, Kenny, go fuck off. Take your boat and get the hell out of here. Glory to man. <laughs> oh, shit. Kenny's on his own. Looks like they got out of here in a hurry. Vernon, get out here! There doesn't have to be any trouble here. All I want is the girl. Give her back and nobody needs to get hurt. Yeah, old man. <laughs> I got your friend and my pistol in my pocket. <laughs> Ugh. Not gonna lie, when the VR chat meditation comes up, I'm gonna be passed the fuck out. <laughs> oh yeah. I am so oh. out of it right now. Oh. The soda I've been drinking is probably the only thing keeping me awake right now. <laughs> I did get plenty of sleep though, but it was just like, ah. I'm gonna go in and get some fresh air. A little bit. Clementine, are, are you all right? Where are you? Vernon, you son of a bitch! Hello, Lee. Vernon, put Clementine back on. I want to talk to her. This isn't Vernon, and you should really watch your tone. Clementine's fine, but if I were you. My next words very carefully. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Let's see here. Did you kill the boy in the attic? Alright, so the majority let Kenny do the job, which is probably for the best, because looking back, yeah. Uh, Hippocratic Oath. You and 42% of players threatened or lied to Vernon. I don't know. I like threatening him. <laughs> yeah, there's, I don't know. Hot tempered Lee just kicks ass. But yeah, I can see why they were. They wanted to play it straight, keep a cool head. Did you bring Clementine with you to Crawford? Uh, most of her. Most of them brought her along. These are the bonds that have been okay. Most people, I think, yeah, for the looks of this, everybody chose like the good stuff. Did you reveal your bite to the group? Only 18% of the players hid the bite. 
Yeah, these are all like good choices, I guess. Damn. Hey, I'm one of the fourteen percent. Uh, who got the uh? So I'm in the top three. Brought everybody but Kenny, cause fuck Kenny. <laughs> <laughs> Only six percent just went alone. Very few people. Very few people went on a solo. There's only one. There's only one guy that's only him by himself. <laughs> yeah. Uh. So it's like so. The sixteen. Uh, yeah. The eighteen. The eighteen percent one is interesting because it's just uh, it's just Lee Lord and Ken. Yeah. It's Lee and Kenny, and then right below that is like everybody comes along. That's like if you want to get the entire gang involved. Oh man. And that was the asshole run. A little bit of assholery and a, and the different decision making. We found out some lore in between it. All right, so this will go up on Monday. It's currently Thursday, so this gives me time to toss that in there. Um, I'm going to take a small break. Um, I'd say around. Let's see what time is it? Five thirty. Uh. If you're up for it, maybe about 6.30 Sprite. If you want, I can go in VR chat and do some uh, some Halloween VR chat stuff. Or um, maybe I can just work on my commission in the meantime or something like that. I don't know. I am a bit I'm a bit sleepy. I'm kind of out of it. I might just lay down and stretch my legs for a bit. But if you do want to hang yeah. out, just hit me up, all right? Yeah. I'll tell you what. Um, I'd say you rest and I'll take a break. All right, sounds like a good call. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna skip the. Get some rest, bro. Yeah, I'm gonna skip the credits because we've all seen it. All right. Yeah. Well, until we meet again, I will try to cram. So maybe next week, Monday or Tuesday or Wednesday, whatever time is good for you, I'm gonna go ahead and cram the final episode, and that'll be our October 31st, uh, October 31st upload, uh. I may take a break from the later seasons, or I could do that next year. I don't know, because uh, I don't want to cram it too much. I'll leave it up to the group. They want to see season two, three, four, five, whatever of uh, the Walking Dead game. But until then, it's been a real hoot. <laughs> Signing off. I'll catch you all later. I'll see you, Sprite. All right. I'll all right. see you too. Bro. Take care, bro. Nuz nuz. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Bye.